beautiful Christmas elves. Welcome back to Tranquil Stitches. My name is Cheryl and today is Friday, December 3rd, 2021, the third day of Flossmas. It's the third day of Flossmas already. I blinked and it's the third. It's, it's unbelievable how fast time is flowing for me. It's another beautiful day in the mountains here. Not a cloud in the sky, bright, sunny day, sunny fall day, just good to be alive, you know. I hope you're having a beautiful day as well. I have some things to share with you, and then I thought we would do a whip and chat. So if you'd like, grab your craft of choice and something to drink and join me, and we'll visit for a little while. I got some mail yesterday. I got this adorable little card from Marsha. Marsha is one of my viewers, and she makes the most adorable little cards. It's a little penguin, be cool, be chill, be merry. Isn't that adorable? So, I mean, just adorable. I also received this in the mail yesterday. I signed up for Crazy Annie's on Facebook. I'll link her below. She has a club next year that features the New Cottage Gardens series, A Year in the Woods. This is number one, and it's called The Fox. And it's, a uh, you know, you we don't know what the rest of the designs look like, but look at that fox. Isn't he the most handsome thing? He is so handsome. Just so proud. Got that chest stuck out. I love him. So I am excited to see the rest of this series, but I'm not sure if she's still, still taking sign-ups for this or not but I will link her below and if and if it's uh, if it's too late to sign up for the auto ship then um, you know you could get them each month but yeah oh love him then I wanted to show you what my BFF got me for Advent Day 3 look at these Christmas twall now well, Sophie's done contributed I see Christmas twall towels Look at these, how gorgeous. They are terry lined. And look at that. Oh, she knows me so well. Look at that poinsettia. Just look. She says she has a set of them too. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. So happy, happy. I have to tell you, my husband is picking my packages because she told me to pick which which one I wanted to open on what day, you know. And I'm not good at that because I'll be sitting there feeling them all and shaking them all and, you know, I'm just not good. <laughs> so I asked my husband to pick my packages the night before and leave them on my desk. Well, when he, he picked this one up when he was looking through the packages, <laughs> he said, I think this one's toilet paper <laughs> because she had it rolled. She had it rolled up like this and wrapped. And so he said, I think this one's toilet paper. So I told her what he said last night. And she said, a toilet paper's a practical gift. So <laughs> these day, this day and time, yeah, it is. And so anyway, I gave her a couple kitchen sponges for today. Some um, They're made out of coconut. Um, they're from Grove. They're made out of coconut shells. So they're a little scrubby, but they're all natural, you know. And... um. I wrapped those, they weren't in a box, and I wrapped those, and she said, she told me last night, she said, this feels like Kleenex. And I said, okay, you unwrap your Kleenex, and I'll unwrap my toilet paper, and we'll be happy campers tomorrow. And she said, that sounds like a plan. So it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. And this morning when she texted me, she said, thank you for my tissues. And I said, there's no way these towels are going anywhere near my bathroom. <laughs> but they are just absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous. So I will set myself up to do a little diamond painting and I will be right back. So this is the one I'm working on. I'll show it to you on the screen. It's absolutely gorgeous. I was watching someone's diamond painting video and I cannot remember for the life of me who it was. My this works better if the plastic isn't on the painting. You know, I'm just saying. 
sometimes more than others. Okay, so I saw this on someone's um, video. She was showing all of her finishes for, I think, 2020, I think. And she showed that she had finished this, this Santa, and he was absolutely gorgeous. She mentioned that apparently this one is a little difficult to find in the size and the, you know, the um, square drills that she did hers. And she had said that she heard from another diamond painter who had found it on this um, budget-friendly site called Cool Hall. And I immediately paused the video and went over there, and they did have it. So I ordered this uh, a couple months ago, and I started it the other day because I just have to have it. I have to have it for my, my craft room because it's just perfect, you know, for Christmas in here. So everything pink and the flowers, and it's just, it's just everything. So I, I double checked before I ordered it and um, on the reverse image search and Amazon is loaded with things. They've got puzzles with this image. They've got um, uh, what else? Puzzles and oh, paint by numbers, I think all kinds of different crafts featuring this image, so I felt it was pretty safe, you know, to pick it up. It's, uh, it's apparently been around the net for years and years, but it's just gorgeous. I couldn't find an artist attached to it, so it's probably just one of those free domain things. But it's, um, it reminds me, some of the ladies who make junk journals or, you know, the, the decorated journals. Some of the ladies who do that do their, um, their printable images. And a lot of them are the vintage Christmas type images. And that's what this reminds me of. So, yeah, I just loved it and fell in love with it. And I said, yep, it's got to happen. Can you imagine? This is a 45 by 60 centimeter. And I was trying to think um, how long it would take to stitch this. Because, you know, you can stitch from a diamond painting, you know, before you before you start the diamond painting. It, it's, it's just like a cross-stitch graph. And it's um, got symbols just like a cross-stitch graph, and it has... The DMC numbers. You know, this one has the DMC numbers down the side. That's what I'm using. The color I'm using right now is 948. It's a really pretty pale pink. So you could stitch from one of these. I've been stitching this morning and I got another motif done on Christmas Quaker and I'm still 565 stitches out from my goal. So I have hopes of finishing that goal this evening. So I've had a bit of a headache this morning. I'm hoping it'll ease up and go away so I can stitch a little easier. I think I think I need to go to the eye doctors what it is. I really do. I think I need I finally need um, respectable glasses because uh, these readers are just not not cutting it anymore. They're just not. I have several Christmas diamond painting whips going right now, and I'm really enjoying it. I came up with a storage system for my canvases that is working so well, and they're easily accessible, and I just pick which one I want to work on, and it's right there, and I love it. So I just felt like I was in a pink mood today. These, I mean, it's pixelated close up, but when you stand back, you see that rose so pretty. And there's a lot of this 948 in this one. A 
a lot of it. So, but I don't mind the, you know, I love confetti in these because it's just fun to, you know, switch colors and, and or you don't get bored. But I love the solid blocks of color too. Not, not so much on um, cross stitch. I mean, I like the blocks of color better than I do confetti because you know it's 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 a little more difficult with cross stitch to change colors <laughs> than it is on these. is moving out there today. I think people are getting ready to hunt this weekend probably. I don't know when deer season started but I'm, I'm thinking it's probably now. Uh, speaking of deer, I saw a deer in my neighbor's yard yesterday morning. It was a little one. Uh, probably, well this year's um you know, born this year, but he reminded me of Rudy. If you've been with me for a while, you remember Rudy. Oh, well, sure, if you, you know, you've already got one on there. Rudy was a deer that had been um, orphaned, and our neighbor kind of fed it through the winter. And when he started rutting in the spring, he um, he went up into the mountains. But that whole winter, he would come and visit. And I would give him dog biscuits, and he would <laughs> he would uh, let me pet him. It was just it was really nice. I've I've got some videos out there back then of Rudy, and then the the following year I saw him. He was um, in the alley. We it's, we've got a little um, space, but the the roads in front of my house, and then behind my house is a little like alley, and then my neighbor's house behind me. So. I saw him with his rack and all his glory in the alley the, the following year. So I was tickled that, to see that he had made it and was happy and healthy. But anyway, I saw this little one yesterday morning. It was early, probably about 7 o'clock. And um, it was behind me, you know, in the neighbor's yard, because they've got a huge yard, and there are rabbits. Uh, one of the neighbor's rabbits got loose, and they can't catch them, and I think I told y'all about those, but there's this little brown rabbit. It's kind of a brown-red rabbit, and it hangs out in the neighbor's yard over there, and I, the whole neighborhood's trying to catch those rabbits, and nobody could catch them, but I saw that deer, and it must have caught that rabbit's eye because that rabbit was over there too, and the rabbit like ran full force, you know, up to close to that deer, like it was trying to scare him away from his territory or something. It was hysterical. That deer didn't pay no more attention to that rabbit than. But yeah, living in the country, you see, you see things like that. It's it's great. Sweet little creatures, you know, sweet little innocent creatures. There's a cat that's hanging around our other house up there, and my husband's been complaining. I said, honey, it's cold and hungry. You've got to keep that in mind. It's just being a cat. And I know it, I know it. So he bought cat food. You know, I mean, he's, he's a softy. He likes to act like he's a, a big, bad, tough guy, but he's not. Don't tell his army buddies I said that. My oldest son said he might get to come home next weekend. He's not going to get to be here for Christmas, but he might get to next weekend. So I'm hopeful. And if he doesn't, I'm going to have to mail his gifts in time for him to get them for Christmas. And the mail, the way the mail is right now, it's crazy. Don't get me started on FedEx. Oh, I'm so disgusted with FedEx. I can't even. I don't know how they're still in business, honestly. 
I feel for the employees. I really do. They're doing the best they can, but... I got tickled. I ordered um, something from Bath & Body. Oh, in case you don't know, Bath & Body's having their annual $10.25 candle sale today. It's today only, and they've got uh, their three three wick candles. Th three Say that ten times fast. Three wick candles. They're regularly $25.50. They're on sale for $10.25 today. And the shipping's only $5. Uh, five ninety nine. That doesn't, doesn't matter how many you order. Well, I don't know if that's the case. I only ordered three, but yeah, it's it's a really really good deal. And you can go in store and get them too. So if there's any left, it's while supplies last. So, and actually they have a neat feature because last night I got the email because I, I I knew the sale was coming. I got the email and they gave us a sneak peek. So when you click on to go to the site, it puts you in a queue, like a virtual uh, line you've got to wait in, and it'll count down, and then when it's your turn, you can get into the site. And you've got 10 minutes to get into the site once your time, you know, your time comes up, or they'll give your, your spot to somebody else, and then you have to go back to the back of the virtual line and wait again. <laughs> so I got in last night and chose um, two, one for me and one for my husband, and, uh, Put them in my cart, and then this morning, there at like 9:30, there was a 25-minute wait to get in, just to check out. So, yeah, big, big, big deal. But when they had their 3.95 lotions, I always get in on that every year. And my order came. We we're talking about the post office, you know, and, and the mail. My order came, and. It was delivered to, now how in the world this happened, I, I have no idea. It was delivered to a neighboring town that's in Virginia. Okay, the town, the, it was delivered to a Virginia post office. So, by the time I, you know, found that out with the tracking, I, it was, you know, the post office had closed because the post offices around here close at like noon because there's just, the population just doesn't support them being open any longer. So, the next morning, First thing in the morning, I called the post office and I said, I believe you have one of my packages. And I was going to tell her to just, you know, hold on to it and my husband would come and get it. Well, she said, no, honey, that went back out yesterday when we realized that it was uh, misdelivered. Well, I looked at the tracking again. They sent it all the way back to Charleston, West Virginia, which is, which is, you know, where the main postal hub is. Now, now keep in mind, where they where it was initially delivered is 15 minutes for me. They sent it all the way back to Charleston and all the way back to my post office. And I had it I had it in the post office that next day. But it went overnight it went all the way back to Charleston and then got on a different truck and come all the way back here to the right post office. No wonder our rates are so high on everything, you know? No wonder. It, it was, I just shook my head. It was like, are you kidding me right now? I, I don't know why she just didn't call my post office and say, do you have such and such in box such and such? And, well, can you let them put a note in their box and let them know I've got their package? You know, and it would have saved so much federal dollars Ah, uh, crazy. I hope if you're ordering online, you're getting your things quickly, you know, for Christmas, because um, it's hard to say, the you know, how things will be towards the end of the month. Things are just taking so long. Now, I'm sure, you know, if you live near an Amazon hub or you live 
you know, in an urban area, it, it might not be that way. But when you're rural, it can take a hot minute, you know, to get your things. I love, love, love that I could play with such beautiful pastel pinks and greens and still be Christmassy. <laughs> that is just super awesome in my opinion. All right, well, that's got that tray done. I have to say, this, where is that drill? This is a very, very nice diamond painting. And I am so anxious to see how it turns out when it's done. Okay, I appreciate you hanging out with me today, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be sure and gift yourself something special today, and I will see you tomorrow for Flossmas Day 4. Happy stitching. Mm -hmm.